Okay, uh, my name is Joy Xavier. My real name is Josephine because I was born on St. Joseph's Day, 19th of March, 1931. I was born in Shanghai, China, to Marie and Fred Castro. Okay. And um, what was uh, growing up in Shanghai like? It was, I, I remember as fun because we lived in the same house as my grandparents and uh, most of my aunts and uncles were pretty close in age, especially my aunt, the youngest one, and my two uncles. Um, they were in their early teens, maybe not even that. And so and my grandmother was a great cook, so it was a very pleasant um, environment and very protected. Did you all live together? <clears throat> yes. Um, at that time, my sister wasn't born yet, but my brother Fr Sonny and I were. My grandparents had a home in Shanghai with a large compound. The ground level was the dining room and the sitting room with a kitchen in the back and the servants' quarters. And on the first level, they lived there with my uncles and aunts, and we lived on the top level. It's sort of like a private place, and almost to ourselves. So it was a fairly large house then? It was, yeah, fairly large by those days standards. Oh. And we were comfortable there. And so you were born in 31. You were the oldest? Yes, I was the oldest. And um, my f brother, Fred, uh, Sonny, came after me. He was born about 19 months later. And his real name is Ronaldo. Frederico, but he liked to go by the name of Sonny. And then who came after Sonny? My sister, Dolly, whose real name was Leonora, uh -huh. Leonora Angela. And um, by then we had moved to Racecourse Road to an apartment on our own. And it was nice because there was a big park in front and we could go there every day and play. And my my mother liked to sew, so she did the curtains and she sewed our clothes and we had a lot of, it was a quieter life and I didn't notice that much difference because we saw our grandparents, my aunts and uncles a lot, you know, very close family. And then your two other brothers were born in that? My in that uh, brother Laddie, I can't remember, he may have been born in that race course road, that apartment there too. And then my brother Fred, <clears throat> the youngest, was born in Hong Kong. But there were four of us before we went. Uh, when was on. Fred born? He was born in 1941, oh, okay. just before the war, so the breakout, you know. So, 1931, had you heard about the Japanese? In oh, China yes, in? oh, yes, because uh, Shanghai was. Um, sometimes bombed by the Japanese. I remember in, um, I imagine I was about five years old. I wasn't in school then yet, uh -huh. but my mother had to pack us all and go to my grandmother's house because there was shelling in our area. Uh -huh. And uh, it's like the Japanese and the Chinese have fought maybe two or three times, you know, the battles would be breaking out. And this war between, they called it the Sino-Japanese War. I don't remember the years because I was kind of young, but, but I remember having to pack and holding my pillow mm -hmm. while my mother and father just got us in rickshaws, mind you, oh. across town to my grandparents' home, away from the bombing. Oh boy. So when did you decide, when did your parents decide to leave um, well, my father decided to go to look for work because there was not much he could do in well, Shanghai. Let me back up a second. <clears throat> Where your mother was still there. Still oh yes, yes, oh yes. Because my brother wasn't born until 1941. Okay, okay. So, so your father and mother decided to immigrate to Hong Kong? Yeah, he went first. I see. And uh, of course we had to find a place to live. And my, um, her, my mother's brother, his in-laws owned a, a villa out in the countryside. And it was called Irene Villa, which was very nice because, but it was way on the country. And we lived out there until we went to, to Hong Kong. 
But while I was there, my mother put me in the convent school. I can't remember the name, but they were run by French sisters. And uh, that's where I was. And then until I got sick because I, being out in the country and there was no protection against um, malaria or anything. Like that. My brothers and my mother and my uncle got malaria and I was there and I got a bite and I got malaria too. Oh. And because I was sick, the sister sent me home hmm. to my mother. But it was nice because it was a big, big house, a rambling type, but it was cold and it wasn't, um, it didn't have electricity, mm -hmm. it had no gas. <laughs> oh and we had our water from a well. And when it was really cold, the uh, water would fr freeze over. So my uncle would put a great big uh, uh, ceramic urn, you might say, and fill it with water so that we always would have water no matter what. Uh -huh. What did he do for a living? Who? Your, your uncle. I'm not sure I know, but he was with us, you know, uh -huh. he and my grandfather. So my mother really wasn't alone. She had a brother and a father with her and us four kids. Okay. But we, we didn't know anything. We had a great time climbing trees and picking mulberries. And there was a huge cherry tree in the back, I remember. And we wanted to go pick cherries. My, my uncle said no, because there was a snake who made his home in the tree. So <laughs> that sort of scared us. We never went up there. Uh, but we did climb to the lower branches, you know, and swing on it. So at this time, your father was? He was in Hong Kong looking for work. I see. And as soon as he found work, he sent for us. And we went there in 1939, December 1939. Where did you live in Hong Kong? In when we landed there, we stayed with my aunt for a few days. My grand aunt, my mother's aunt, her name was Connie, and it was on Salisbury Avenue in, Sha in Hong Kong. And I, they, my mother sent me to St. Mary's School, run by the Kenoshan sisters. And um, I can't remember too much, but then my, uh, we moved to a house that was uh, <clears throat> run by a Portuguese family who I guess we rented out rooms because they had a big house, this beautiful house. And we had one of the front rooms. It was big enough for all our beds, you know, for the four of us, kids and my father and mother in the same room. And it was really, a, I would say it was the size of maybe one and a half times this living room. So, but uh, that's where I went to school, in St. Mary's School. Was this on Hong Kong Island or was it in Kowloon? In Kowloon. In Kowloon. Right. Okay. It's called the Jim Sa Choi District. And that's where most of the Macanese lived, you know. Then my, <clears throat> let's see, what did, I, what did we do? Oh, and then my mother got pregnant with my youngest brother and we decided what we needed more space. Mm -hmm. So we moved to Kowloon City which wasn't far from Marinol, and that's where I went to wow. uh, school. Well, these are all girls' schools? All yeah, all girls' schools, oh. always segregated. My brother went to La Salle College, okay. but it was in a K, uh, I would say first grade through uh -huh. high school. Okay. And that's where your dad went to. La Salle? La Salle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what was life like in Hong Kong before the war? It was pretty sedate. It was very nice. Um, we didn't, I missed my grandparents, of course, and my uncles and aunts, large extended family. Yeah. But uh, it wasn't bad, you know. I made a lot of friends there, too. What did you do for fun? What did we do? Mostly it was, in the winter was movies. And in summer we went to the beach on the weekends. Uh -huh. And of course, there were family parties, you know, things like that. My mother couldn't do too much entertaining. For one thing, mm -hmm. our place was too small. We didn't have any room. And um, of course, she got pregnant then, and mm -hmm. so it was out of the question. But we did have some, like my father had some cousins mm -hmm. there, and she had some of her cousins. And they were very, very kind and very, you know, even though they hardly knew us because we came from Shanghai. Mm -hmm. They were very accepting, you know, you're a cousin, you're a cousin, you're family.